Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Greenspan and I'm a board certified anesthesiologist and I've been working with Dr. Blau for over 25 years. I thought I'd give you some insight into anesthesia for plastic surgery in the office. Dr. Blau's office is certified, has been accredited, and has been so for several years. It's, uh, it means that he has the necessary equipment to safely monitor you and emergency equipment uh, as needed. Uh, fortunately, we haven't had to use that emergency equipment. On the other hand, I would like to tell you about the types of anesthesia that are available. For a patient who can comfortably lie still for a small kind of surgery, Dr. Blau can do some surgeries under just local anesthesia. It's just like when you get Novocaine at the dentist office. On the other hand, if he feels that it's more surgery than would be you would likely to be comfortable, he would ask for an anesthesiologist to be present. That would be me or one of my associates. And we have some things to think about before giving you anesthesia. We would uh, frequently will call you the night before to ask you some questions. For instance, uh, do you take any medicine every day? Do you have high blood pressure or diabetes? Have, do you get chest pain or palpitations? Do you smoke cigarettes? Do you have allergies to medicine? These are all important questions to ask. And on the other hand, we want to know if you've had any surgery before and if you had any problems with anesthesia in particular. Some people get nausea and vomit after anesthesia. And some people are prone to that. People who get motion sickness in a car are more prone to getting sick from anesthesia. But we have medications that uh, we can give, and more often than not, we can prevent uh, the nausea and the vomiting. So that's why it's important to talk with us, to tell us your background, your history, and uh, we will go uh, tailor an anesthetic to meet your needs. Um, when you do come for surgery, we would have you here in the operating room. Would start an intravenous, put on the monitors, and with some medicine in the intravenous, you slowly drift off to sleep. While you're asleep, the anesthesiologist is with you the entire time to make sure you're okay. And when the operation is over, we will wake you up. And although you'll be very drowsy, uh, you will know that the operation is over. You rest here for a while, and uh, when you wake up enough and feeling okay, we'll let you go. Of course, you can't drive yourself home if you've had anesthesia. You have to have somebody here to take you home. And also, I should mention that you shouldn't have anything to eat or drink before in the morning of uh, surgery, because that also uh, increases the risk of uh, nausea and vomiting afterwards. So that's, brief, that's a brief overview of anesthesia in the operating room and I thank you very much.